production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. This is Tales of Heroes video replay review number 73 for April 21st, 2008. The widescreen edition. Tales of Heroes is brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your donation. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Gamefire Network. Tales.gamefire.com is how you'll find us. Now, I would like, like you to tell me what map we are on. This, if I give you a hint, if I tell you this is the far left of the map, you'd better know this one. If you don't, you are no Company of Heroes player, my friend. This, this is Angaville, the one, the only the disastrously popular Angville, because it's the only thing anybody ever plays. Anyway, this is Tales of Heroes number 73. A little bit delayed, but it's okay. We apologize for that. We did get it out there, and that's what's important. The lost, the second lost Tales of Heroes being resurrected from the dead. I am Adam Ruzo, a.k.a. Bridger, right here for the Gamefire Network, and with me, as always, is Rogers, a.k.a. Sam Forrester. Thank you for the sh coming on the show, sir. We have walked through hell and high water to get all these technical problems solved, and I'd really like to apologize, like Bridger was stating earlier, uh, t for this delayed show, but it's a great game, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out with everyone uh, watching along at home, so it's going to be fun. Yep. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. This is Bent Guru versus X Nubex, presumably a Smurf name. This is uh, a great game on Angaville, from what we hear, so we're going to jump right into it. Starting on the five second mark in five, four, three, two, one, unpause. All right, so there we go. We uh, starting off with, by the way, it is a uh, Panzer Elite versus American, so it's gonna be a good game here. Uh, as we were discussing, uh, I was actually talking to Vinsby on the phone a while back, and uh, I basically pointed out, I was talking about this match in particular, and I said, you know, uh, this is going to be, you know, Panzer Elite versus American, so it's probably going to be a good game. He's like, yeah, as long as it's not the British in it. And I, I just, yeah, totally. <laughs> Panzer Elite are another one of those armies, just like the American and the Wehrmacht, that can fight very mobile. You know, that's designed, their entire design is around that. You know, you can move and cut off people, and on a map like Angaville, it produces some very entertaining game. Uh, British don't quite fight like that anymore. <laughs> never did, never will. <laughs> no, I guess not. We got a four engineer start by uh, X Nubex. My guess is he's trying to compete with that that zooming super engine Kenton grad that's running around the map capping things, even though it only has the plus, it's capping the plus sixteen right now. But this is going to give him a huge advantage in terms of high resources, especially on the right hand side, which it looks like he's concentrating on. And he's building his barracks in rather an odd place in the back. Uh, that's 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 a pretty decent place. I guess he's really uh, kind of skittish in case uh, the PE player gets an early mortar half-track out. And uh, he could bombard it easily from uh, outside the line. So I guess he's trying to protect his units uh, a little bit better later in the game. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. So now we have Panzer Grenadiers invading and trying to capture the early strategic point, or decap it, I should say. Uh, that'll give him a huge advantage in stopping the resource gathering of the American player. And right now, he's got two Panzer Grenadier squads down there, one of which is G43'd up, uh, the Gewehr 43. And so, I mean, he maybe if he pulled all four of his engineer squads in here, he could do something. But it, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to at this juncture. He's going to lose that strategic point, and he's not going to be getting any of those resources he's capping on the right-hand side. And now we're going to see the first little skirmish here as a Panzer Grenadier squad goes up against an engineer squad. Yeah, that's that's a really great placement of that G43 squad in that building because they have a the G43s have a very good fire rate, especially against American units, and they do uh, a lot more damage than the regular Car 98. So that's definitely a smart uh, position to put those Panzer Grenadiers in the building. Just even if it's only as a delaying tactic, it's really smart and it's going to pay off for them because that entire right hand side, like you said, is completely cut off. So. Now we, we have another little skirmish over here on the left-hand side, it looks like. Gewehr 43 again. I think that's the Gewehr 43 that was in the building. Oh, two yeah. instant kills. That's a crit right there. There it goes. Wow. Really quick, quick kill. He didn't have any time to respond. He put him in heavy cover, but it wasn't enough at all. Ex Nubex having to retreat another engineer squad. So it doesn't look like that engineer start has benefited him too much. Yeah, Bankaroo definitely did an excellent job at realizing what the situation was. 
he went straight for that strap point that was undefended and since there weren't really any rifle squads out at the time to combat that and all he was up against was engineers he just was able to walk right in cut all those early resources that the americans would have been getting had the panzer league not been able to cut him off and so it was a perfect counter right there yeah excellent he, move by Beck Brewer. now because he had so many engineers during this whole battle he did manage to reconnect that sector however he lost the fuel in the process. The Ketan has decapped the fuel, so he pretty much never got a taste of that plus 16 fuel that entire time. So the American player is really hurting for fuel right now. And uh, yeah, that, the that's. The players could be dancing in it, yeah, definitely. Definitely. He's about to reconnect it and get. Uh, oh no, he, he, he had to pull away because he was getting shot at, I guess. Or no, he's going to decap first. That's why. He's going to decap with the Ketan before he grabs the fuel. Here comes another American and engineer squad pushing up, but the Dever 43 got in the building already. The enemy is attacking. That's going to be really big right there. We got a flamethrower upgrading on one of Nubex's pyo squads, but somehow he's you mean suppressed. Engineer I guess he's suppressed. Yeah, yeah, engineer squads. Uh, by the G43 squad, they were briefly suppressed. And this is a bad move here. This is this is really risky here. He just upgraded those flamer uh, engineers, and uh, this is going to be a close call here. He could just get around the corner. Enemy oh, attack. no. Yikes. That's a big hit right there. He, If he could have kept that squad alive, that would have been really great. He's uh, upgrading the grenades right now, so he was probably hoping that he would be able to lob a grenade in there while the flamers were able to divert the attention. But unfortunately, what he should have done, in my opinion, is just go in with the rifles, draw their fire, because it's a larger squad size. Therefore, more health, they can take more damage while the flamers sit in the green cover of the house or the orange cover of those boxes and just flame away and burn that house down. But unfortunately it didn't work out too well for him. We've got an infantry half-track on the field as one of the first uh, first units that are non-Panzer Grenadier here. But it does look like the Americans with grenades did manage to flush out the Germans. I believe, did they kill the squad that was in there? I don't see the Gewehr 43 anywhere. Yeah, they did. Anywhere. They killed the G43 squad. They, they wiped them out with one nade, and they, the rifle squad got bet on it as well. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. All right. That was a really smart placement right there. It was. Five minutes and 32 seconds into the game, and the Americans starting to make a, a bit of a comeback on the right-hand side. And he did decap the fuel on the left. So right now, nobody's had those fuels. About to change, though. Very good shifting of hands, I must say. I mean, it's just back and forth. Both sides are just determined to keep that fuel out of their uh, opponent's hands. Very well played by both sides so far. And the uh, victory points so far uh, draining in favor of the Germans most of the yeah. game. Now the Americans have finally decapped. And the one on the right, and they're going to recap it. Yeah, the left, the left hand VP has been in American control, though, and now they have the southern right as well. Yep. So those VPs wow. are really going to start hurting Ben eventually. Another infantry half-track pops onto the field. That's dual infantry half-tracks, not something you see every day. But considering all he's doing is facing mobile uh, rifle squads, a mortar half-track probably wouldn't have helped him as much as another quick infantry half-track. Two of those things firing is going to take him down real quick. In addition, uh, I think it was a very smart move by Ben Guru because... If you, if you notice, uh, he saw that he, he used uh, grenades earlier, so obviously he's spending that fuel on grenades as opposed to a quick tech to motor pool to get an M8 out or such, whatever uh, most American players would probably be doing to get that quick armored car out to counter the PE's light vehicles. But uh, since that slowed his tech and he's also getting sticky bombs right now, it's a perfect opportunity for Ben Guru to capitalize and do as much damage as possible with these uh, infantry half tracks. Here. Yeah, definitely. That's a really good point. With no full hard counter on the field for half tracks, you know, he's got to, you know, all he has to deal with is the soft counter of rifles, and there's. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, that was they got a sticky off, but that was not worth it. Look at that. Didn't even damage Very the engine. Yeah, very nice job by Ben Guru, though, uh, transporting his soldiers with the half-tracks and using them as just a little mobile repair crew. It's like AAA, <laughs> German AAA. <laughs> you got a damaged engine? We'll be there in no time. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. You just hang out. We'll be there in a second. Engineers still flying around the map, decapping. Gewehr 43 squad. Grenade coming in. Oh... That rifle went That's flying. <laughs> yeah. The Yankees are grabbing our territory. No further signs of teching because he just got sticky bombs uh, a little while ago before he lost that rifle squad, unfortunately. So uh, I think Ben Guru is sitting pretty pretty right now because he knows that 
there's not going to be an M8 on the field anytime soon. No, absolutely not, especially since, look at this, he's still cutting off the enemy's fuel. This is the first plus 16 here over here. The engineers are about to cap it, and uh, <laughs> both squads, it looks like the one of the infantry half-tracks got a sticky on it, but the rifles had to get retreat again. He might finally get a plus 16. He's slowly trying to cap it. He's going to cap the right hand plus 16 as well. You got to hope that Guru is not going to let that happen. Otherwise, uh, that's a big mistake. Yeah, that's, he's focusing on uh, getting his Panzer Support Command up, which just uh, finished building. So he's got uh, one infantry half track on the left hand side, one on the right for quick response on both flanks, which is a really smart move. Uh, he's using the infantry half tracks as quick responders. That's definitely a good idea in this kind of situation. Yep. Uh-oh, we could lose an infantry half-track here. It's at half health if he gets his other squad up here to support, and they both throw stickies. There's one. It's already got a damaged engine. There it goes. One more will do it. Back it up, Ben. Back it up. If he gets that lucky suppression on that rifle squad, he might be able to get away. Is he going to get it? No. Yeah, it looks like those rifles aren't really chasing it, though. Yeah. It's probably a mistake. If he'd have BARs, that half track would be gone. Yeah, very likely. He might not have had the munitions. Did he have the munitions? Uh, no, he didn't have the. Uh, well, he had the munitions, but he wasn't in range, my right. guess. Um, but we have an aid station up in a very interesting place, back behind, just south of the uh, southern right VP. That's a very good place right there. It's back out of the way, and it'll also cover this entire field of engagement on the right hand side. So we're going to see some free squads, most likely, throughout the course of this game for X new X. Yeah. Look, we already have two men coming in by the little car uh, shed thing. Here comes you guys are being dragged back. the fixed infantry half-track. Some yeah. Putting down some long-range suppression fire on those rifles. That's a good way to use the infantry half-track, too. Definitely. Especially when you know your opponent's like got stickies. Yeah. yeah. They might hop in this building, though, but since they don't have BARs, those grams aren't really going to be able to provide much damage. Now we have VARs. <laughs> there they go. Speak of the devil. Uh oh. Building grenade. Yep. Uh, Goes inside. Yep, yep. That's burning them up. Get them out of there. They're taking damage. It's hard to see. There you start to see flames licking out the bottom floor. Yeah. And those things burn for a long time usually too. That's normally yeah. That that's that's a dangerous little thing there, especially in those wooden buildings. They wouldn't have done so much damage if they were in the stone building, but the wood buildings are absolutely devastated. A triage center coming up as well. So he's going very infantry heavy, infantry centered strategy, and now he just had infantry company chosen to kind of complete the circle of life, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least it's viable a little bit. Yeah. In the past, yeah. it didn't. In, in, I remember when infantry company was never viable, and this whole infantry centered strategy was never viable. You had to go straight to motor pool. Let's see if they can pull it out of here, though. I mean, right now, he's probably going to be contending with a Panzer IV pretty soon. I don't know why and he, he really has nothing to counter that no. other than uh, stickies, which the skirts aren't going to be able to. The skirts are just going to negate the stickies. Yeah, pretty much. This is going to be very dangerous for the American player. That building grenade's doing a lot on the uh, right hand side. Uh, oh wow! Look at that. Grenade, yeah. Just it really one, caught that one on one. fire. Yeah. I can't see the squad anymore because it's out of range. Is it still? That squad might it... fight it. It's still in the. Um, yep. There's down to one man. It's the vet squad, too. That's what's sad. Oh, no. And it got out. It got out. Oh, it's there it is. Yep. Yeah, that, was, that was really close. We have 300 points left. And that Axis down. Wow. Axis very far down on VPs right now. Yeah. Defensive vet. Infantry half track. Trying to yeah, kite some more so rifles. Got some suppression on them. Yeah. But, that but there's the sticky. sticky. I don't think it's going to be a finishing move, though. Not nope. quite, no. Uh, nope, not quite. That would have been on the back. That would have definitely been. Uh, yeah, bad for he them. got he got really lucky. It looked like uh, that would have been a critical. It's one of those chances. Yeah. You know, fifty percent chance of death, fifty percent chance that it would have stayed alive. That time he got the survival. You know what I would have liked to see? See, he has a lot of infantry on the field, a lot of rifle squads and uh, engineer squads. I would have liked him to see to see him go right hand side of infantry company and get the mines and the get the mine ability and all the uh, useful field upgrades for the rifles. I think uh, a lot of well placed mines could really turn the tide for this game, definitely in favor of the allies. Coming up on your right six. Yeah, it's looking good. Whoa, there we go. Only got one squad with that grenade, unfortunately. 
Yeah, it only it only took out one man, and uh, the Lufafa ground forces are on the field, so we have right hand side of Lufafa chosen. So we might be seeing some verbal vins and uh, no butterfly bombs or fallshrooms for a little while, though. No, probably not. Yeah, I see. Lufafa ground forces chosen. That's a that's a good idea because he was going in uh, vehicle heavy strat there with the double half tracks. So it was a smart move to get that quick repairing power instead of having to waste the uh, the uh, fuel and manpower on the repair upgrade from the Kampf group, uh, which I mean not the Kampf group uh, from the Panzer Jaeger, which he doesn't have. Yeah. So it was a smart move. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. So right now he has the Kampf group, so he has access to uh, Shreks if he should need them, yeah. but he does not have access yet to the MP44s. Nope. Now he here comes here comes quite a lot of power from the Americans. Now he shouldn't, he, he probably isn't going to win it if he charges headlong into these infantry yeah, half tracks. Be action, yeah, because the, the half tracks are just going to kite easily. So not a bad idea. The Americans holding this fuel, now building a machine gun emplacement right to cover it. That's a great That's a idea right there. Indeed, and we have a free rifle section just formed from that aid station. Oh, there it is. So, that's it's quite already paid excellent. for itself. Yep, indeed. And then some. So what, maybe the uh, the German player, Bent Guru here, is being a little bit too, not aggressive enough at this mm -hmm. point. If he, had, if he had played a little more aggressive, he probably could have avoided that machine gun emplacement being built. Yeah. Because he had the advantage a moment ago, but now with that, that free squad and the machine gun emplacement now, and wow, this squad's in big trouble. Yeah, they, they ran really fast as they should have yeah that was that was a good good move take advantage you know he had found one squad that was all by itself and he took straight advantage of it definitely wonder if we're gonna see the slow ability here used on these uh, flanking rifle sections here we'll have to wait and find out well he's already got he had those engineers suppressed by the infantry half track yeah. another infantry half track could go down nope it was too full on health Ooh. We have a flak verling per built really? by the uh, uh, by the lift. I don't know squad. about the positioning though. I would have personally uh, put it around the, that strategic point where the medics are going, because around there that covers a much wider arc. That's true. As opposed to just the VP, and that won't even cover the fuel point. I I'm sure that he just built it as kind of a fallback position, but uh, I think that's that could end up being more of a liability as a weapon support center has just come up and a mortar has been produced. So Ooh. the flak railing's already met its match. So interesting choice. You still look at this and you think, man, what would an M8 do for him right now? Because he's got no <laughs> Shreks on the field. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen anything out of the Panzer Jaeger, but he doesn't have any fuel, right? So yeah, he's only got 10, 17 fuel, so he must have built something. Oh, because yeah, that's right, he just built the flak for Ling, that's right. Yeah, there you go. That's only about 40 fuel, though, I believe. Yeah, well, they've been fighting over the fuel quite a bit. Oh. Yeah, that mortar is definitely going to be uh, bad news bears there. What I, I, would, I would personally like to see Ben Guru do right now is uh, load up a squad, possibly maybe two squads into an infantry half-track and go left side and grab the fuel because you know that the American player right now is centralizing on the right front. And uh, you need to really expand, but it looks like the American player is ready for that, and he's already on the left-hand side preparing. But here's but what he's not prepared for. Yeah. yeah. Oh no! No, why are you running right into a <laughs> group of rifles? Oh god, no! The red numbers! Oh no! Oh! There goes 480 manpower. That's uh. Did he even get any kills? I don't see any dead Americans there. I think it got. He got one by the hedge here. Yeah, okay, then it got two then because it ran over one guy. Oh, yeah, I so. did see that. <laughs> yeah, so that was not worth it at all. He should never have charged that in by itself. That was not a smart move. Uh, he probably had it called into that position and didn't probably, realize there, yeah. were, there were rifles there. That happens That happens to the best of us. Oh, yeah, it does. The American player might get a Ketten here. He might. He's trying to cloak flame it. it. Cloak it! Your Lufafa, cloak the damn Ketten. I don't know if you can cloak it when it's taken fire, can you? I mean, you can uh, try, but it's, uh, but... Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Not gonna happen. It's too far out now, and the infantry half-tracks yeah. are back. Uh-oh. Why did the Ketten stop? No. Keep going, Ketten. Here comes all these rifles. One has double vet, the other has uh, single vet. Ketten did there go down. The kitty. Yeah, there goes the kitty. Oh, no. 
Oh, this rifle squad is, f is single vet. It's oh no, it's in big trouble. Oh, it just got run over. Excellent use of suppression there to stop the PE from attacking and advancing or even moving. I love suppression. It's such a useful ability. On the bars? Yeah, yeah, yeah BAR suppression. Double very, vet very squad has uh, six kills, a vehicle kill, and a tank kill. Lord. He must have killed a Ketten earlier, and then the, the that must be the squad that killed. Oh, another double vet squad gets, has ten infantry kills. Yeah, he's going to be hard pressed to get out of there, though. He just barely made it. This, squad's... this this other double vet squad needs to leave now. Yeah. Heavily outgunned. Oh jeez, come on. Get him out of there. there. He's throwing a sticky, but get him out of there. The enemy is VAR is attacking on the right hand side, running into the flak verling. Oh wow. Drops uh three three guys instantly. And, uh, wow, it already has nine kills. Holy crap, I wish we would have been paying. Oh the verbal vin does. Wow, yeah. The flak verling, yeah. I could not I'm sorry, flak verling. <laughs> Yeah, the verbal bin's the thing that died uh, from three stickies. <laughs> now, he's he doesn't have the he he lost the victory point on the left hand side here. Yeah. So the Germans are still losing victory points, despite the fact that yeah, we keep German seeing the Germans beat the Americans in every major field action here. Yeah. The Americans have been consistently getting enough resources and and victory points to just keep pushing out. Absolutely, that fearling is going to go down. Even though it did, uh, it was a deterrent on the VP. I don't think in the end it's worth it because it's just going to get remanned and turned on him, and then uh, that's uh, GG for that VP over there. Yep, there it goes. Now yeah. that wouldn't have been too bad if if the counter w was actually an M8, you know. Yeah. But the weapon support center was something that I didn't see coming for sure. Yeah. Uh oh. That's a very smart move. Another infantry half track could go down. Oh. Well, that is to say, the first one could go down. Yeah. He's done an amazing That's... job keeping those things alive. No kidding. I'm surprised we haven't seen more veterancy on him. I mean, one has 19 kills, the other has 11. Okay, yeah, we do have two two uh, levels of defensive vet on that, though. Ooh, and they have been slowed. And there's a light AT half yeah, right now. I don't know about that choice. I probably would have gone for a Panzer IV. But I guess he's expecting a, a late motor pool. Yeah. And instead of a motor pool, we have something a lot better. It's a howitzer being built right oh. now. Oh, yeah. On I was, howitzer. I was wondering why we didn't see rangers earlier. You mentioned we have infantry hat company. Yep. Yeah, he's hurting in terms of manpower because of all the infantry he has. And he hasn't... I don't believe he's gotten any of the supply yard upgrades. Yeah, he doesn't even have a supply yard. So his <laughs> manpower is very, very... Uh, his income is very low. So the tickets... But, uh, this howitzer is going to definitely do some damage. Yeah, tickets draining again on the Amer uh, the German the Germans. American side. Yeah, the drain is happening on the American side oh, in yeah, favor now of the is, Germans. Yeah. Blah, I can't talk. Here comes a double vet squad again. Why are you sending one squad against two? P. Ah, don't do that. Run away. Well, you could just be sending him into spot for the Howie. And is that what he's doing? Is that how it's going to move? Yes, it is. Good call, Bridger. Let's see how accurate this fire is going to be here. Fire support, do some damage. Ooh, that was just short. That was so close, though. That's the, those shells are so close. Wow, they haven't done any damage at all. It fell right between the half track and the squad. Yeah, twice it, it came so close to hitting, but it just couldn't do the damage. The flag railing's been remanned by engineers. If you'll check out on the right. So that's oh yeah, look at that. Good. Yep. Man, that was just some bad luck. Oh wait, 88 has been built. Yeah, that's not going to do any good at all. <laughs> well, no, not if there's a uh, not if there's the howitzer on the field. And also the infantry too. I mean, infantry rifle squads are the perfect counter to an 88. Yep. Even though the MGs are being used very well as uh, as basically static defenses and BARs are being picked up yep. by the Luftwaffe. That has to be some sort of sacrilege. <laughs> Really well, you know, when you're not good enough to be in the Fallschirmjägers, you scavenge what you can. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, the American player never capped the victory point before he jumped on the flak for Ling. That probably would have been a better bet, because if, even if he started to decap the victory point, enticing the enemy to come over, he could have jumped on the flak for Ling as soon as they got there, like the British with their trench. Definitely would have been a good... Check out the, the long freaking trek from, uh, 
from the left hand side all the way back to the right of these medics and we're gonna have another free infantry section formed here this, oh, is, wow. this is outrageous like all the way from the left hand vp the medics are just oh i'm so tired but i have to keep going those guys must be drinking a lot of gatorade oh there we go how he's oh, turned on the 88 yep 88 is just about met its match it actually killed three people i'm impressed the howitzer Oh, the 88. Yeah, I mean the, uh, the 88, yeah. Oh, that was almost a direct hit, just short. Wow, look at the, the 88 firing halfway across the map. I can do artillery too, damn it. <laughs> I'm really surprised that we haven't seen defensive op up by the Panzer Elite player uh, to heal up his units and get oh, the cooldowns yeah. recharged faster. But uh, I guess right now he's he's been fuel starved for the first and middle half of the game, so Whoa! that was a really big aid there. Yeah. Did you see that? Killed about four guys, I think. Looks yeah, like four guys. Yeah. Uh oh. Infant oh, it's full up infantry half track. He's keeping those things fully. Oh, that's an AT half track. That's got to be so frustrating for the American player right yeah. now. Build an M8 then, for God's sake. He only has three rifle squads on the field right now, and he lost one of his double vets. That must have been the squad that got slowed, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, that's too bad. Now he is capturing pretty much the whole right side now. There's a burger tiger up, and, uh, well, I guess it's going to go salvage some burgers from the uh, verbal vent over there. I guess so. Wreck wasn't destroyed, so. I was I really expecting you. a Panzer IV, though. Yeah. Right. Because that would do a lot of damage against uh, what the Americans have, which is basically a few infantry units, and that's about it. But uh, the American is doing a very good job at just static harassment, just going in, punching his opponent in the back of the head, running away again. Yeah, and not, coming back to do it again. Yeah. It's well done. That guru's got perfect, like, unit preservation. He has, yeah. he only lost that one G43 squad and maybe, you know, a little bit, you know, a couple of, maybe a Ketten here and there. But he hasn't yeah. lost a whole lot of big stuff. Another grenade coming in. Oh, no, they accidentally ran right into it and trying to dodge it. Enemy unit but he lost the squad. Holy crap. That single vet like Gewehr squads and a double vet's Gewehr squad. Oh, oh. That was a hit. That that could have been useful like 10 seconds before it actually did fire. Yeah. It was probably on cooldown, though. It probably was. It's got like a 90 second cooldown, doesn't it, I think, yeah. 105? Sounds about it's right. Long Another yeah. two medics running over to pick up the wounded. <laughs> yeah, that aid station has definitely paid for itself in triplicate. Yeah, but it only has because he's lost so many squads. Oh, here we go. Rubble Wind is back up. There you go. That's sweet. Well, I don't know how much that thing's going to be able to do, especially if we start seeing rangers on the field, but uh, it might it might be fun for just uh, for giggles and a uh, good time. Well, that's the Burger a good Tiger question. isn't even repairing it right now. The Lufoff are, though. That's yeah. Interesting. It must, but, must be a little, a little bug there. Well, that that's a good question. Why the hell haven't we seen any rangers? Well, I guess he's been, uh, he's really been manpower hurting oh. the whole game and it's not a supply yard. Oh, that squad is going to eat uh, dung. That, oh, that offensive vet is just making every shot count with those... Especially with the, uh, against Americans, it's ten times more devastating than G43s. Those things are real trouble. Yep. You do not want to let squads get vet with that, because it just wiped out a double vet squad like it was nothing. For more information on no the Gewehr 43 and German veterancy, see coh-stats.com. Or Wikipedia. <laughs> anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't have a supply yard up, which is probably really hurting him in the long run because he's he's infantry spamming. So yeah. I think it would have really helped him if he had have like uh, the supply yard upgrades at least level one, because he only has two two nine in terms of income. Now he has two thirty four because he just lost some more units. But uh, yeah, he, he definitely needs that if he wants, especially if he wants to spam Ooh. rangers because they're what like forty five in terms of uh, reinforce. I think. Flak for Ling versus Verbal Vind. Who will win? The battle of the century. Yeah, yeah or not. <laughs> yeah. The verbal then just took it out easy. A Whoa. Nice 12 XP there. That whole and squad it... get a little no, didn't. Yeah, was just... Has the howitzer hit anything? It got one uh, infantry kill so uh, far. So much for 475... 400 manpower, 75 fuel, or is it 450? Uh, it's 450 and 75 fuel. Jesus. I'm pretty sure. Maybe against the British it could be useful. No, no, British emplacements never die. Don't That's forget true. that. Finally, the supply yard's coming up. Excellent. Oh, no, no, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
I will take his advice. No, he will lead me astray. He wants rangers instead. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, I guess so. Uh, yeah. He needs a quick counter to that verbal wind right now, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, those rifles aren't cutting it. Neither is that MG in the little shack that can only shoot out of the sides. That's mm. tragic. Yeah, he's, he's in the barn roof there. <laughs> Aiming at the hedge. I'm looking at you, hedge. Yeah, you better not mess with me. I have a water-cooled Browning M1919 A something. Here we go. Robovind at half health. Took a couple bazooka rounds. Yeah, that was pretty devastating, actually. Especially considering the flak filling did nothing to it. Yeah. One miss. Here comes another hit. Nope. That miss. Flak, actually, I think. Yeah. Flak, yeah. I nice Here got comes. some suppression on it. Uh oh. Something fun. Ooh. <laughs> Heavy damage. Yeah, Situation <laughs> critical. You don't say. Burger Tiger yeah, gonna come yeah, over and try and heal her up. Burger Tiger's gonna give the verbal some love. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's bad, backed bro. into a corner. This is bad. Here comes. Use oh, the burger to misses. deflect the shots. Yeah, Use right? the burger to deflect the shots. Come on, hurry. It got his main gun back, oh, but no, nice it's out of control. Game. The Burger Tiger's gonna try and chase it down, heal it while it's out of control. That would be awesome. Oh, those guys flew Holy off the map. crap! That was hilarious. He's still going off the map. Look at he's spinning. Oh my god, he's a <laughs> I helicopter. Love I love that glitch. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Hell? That's the best physics glitch ever. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, Talk about I disco mode. Holy shit. Yeah, that's more like human propeller mode. We got fall shrooms out. Oh, there they are, yep. Up in VP. Nice, sneaky, got behind the the uh, machine gun there. Threw a building nade on it, preempting yep. the bars from jumping in there. And I imagine he's getting the FG-42 upgrade yep, he's now. upgrading right now. He'd do better off jumping the building, though. No, grenades would get him in there, so probably not. Yeah. Instead, he's just pulling out. Oh, Good idea. We're Good bringing back the verbal vin. For the he did second kill the time. mortar, so that, that was worth it. He yeah. did kill the mortar squad. And he didn't lose too many. I think he still got three, so he only lost one guy. We're bringing back yeah. the Verbal Vin. This is the third life of the Verbal Vin. This is actually second. Ooh. Actually, yeah, you're right, third. Here yeah, yeah, comes a building right. grenade on the MG in the house. Oh, boy. That's a nice little chemical grenade there. Oh, he's dead. Like that small, confined little shack, there's no chance for Charlie, Jim, and uh, Stanley. No chance at all. That's some oh, accurate artillery yeah. fire. Are you seeing that? Yeah, the verbal vin got hit again. That'd be funny if it died again. The An crew is like, "Jeez, back takes to the a direct 105 shell and is fine." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we've seen worse. Come on. Are you We're kidding right. me? This thing was designed to fight Shermans. <laughs> Slowing Use the flame the infantry and then the running away. Use the verbal vin to kill the medics. This, this machine gun emplacement might go down to the burn -a nation Yeah, it'll probably burn out at the 5% mark like uh, most buildings do. Yeah. If it doesn't quite destroy him, it's really annoying. There's that poor guy sitting on sitting undefended. I, I hope it doesn't rain for him. Good thing that Angleville doesn't rain, because he'd be kind of uh, SOL right there. Well, yeah. That'd be uh, not a good time. Or if it rained firestorms. Look at these. They're welding the, the sandbags back together. I love that. Yeah. yeah that's it's okay, buddy. We'll have your tent back up in no time. Wait, what are you doing with those torches? Ah! <laughs> it burns. It's, it's, it's. What is anyway, that? Uh, we have Ooh. dual ranger squads bombs. in a rifle section up, and another another rifle uh -oh. section created. Oh no! The whirlwind is charging into the Allied lines again. If you can learn one thing about this game, it's don't charge whirlwinds anywhere ever. Oi. Oh. That's the Olympic yeah. long jump world championship finals right there. Look at that. <laughs> the Olympic ejection competition. <laughs> Who can fly the highest? Oh, yeah. that burger's screwed. Oh, yeah. It's got this damaged engine. Out of control. Oh, but another Rubble Vend is coming to the rescue. Did you read the thread where some guy was complaining about the Burger Tiger's health? <laughs> about how hard it is to uh, kill? Yeah. It's a tiger. What do you want? I know, exactly. It has no way to defend itself. 
Uh oh. Uh, this could be bad. That's how it's for shoot. That's a how and for and off, here. off map too. It looks like. Oh. That's good coordination of fire right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Flying everywhere. Ben's moving uh, forward like a like a true scholar. Ooh, got one squad though. Fell right I on him, killed see three. A chunk of a torso just fly violently <laughs> through the air. He must have got one of those Gewehr squads. Yeah, probably. Maybe one of the double vets, probably. Yeah, I think that was a double vet. Yeah, he's got a triple vet still on the field with 26 Ooh. kills. Wow. Lordy. Let me see. Do the Rangers have their upgrade? No, they don't. Oh. Nope. Excellent grenade, though. Yeah. Verbal Vin the third was unfortunately killed in action and the corpse was destroyed, so we won't be seeing uh, uh, Verbal Vin royalty anymore, so unfortunately. <laughs> Verbal Vin heter heterarchy. Hierarchy. <laughs> it's okay, the machine gun emplacement has a tent again. Yeah, it's, it'll be fine in the morning. <laughs> Here. Take two engineers and call me in the morning. Oh, oh no, another <laughs> Verbal Vin! Oh, God, they tried. That long armor. jump was just a little bit too short. Yeah, I think if it was an actual flak verling on top of the verbal vin, now that would be worth 480 <laughs> power. Like, keep the armor the same, but make the gun really amazing so it's a glass cannon like the Martyr. I'd love that. Got three Where's kills the there. We, the Howitzer has vet from four infantry kills. Wow. Must That's, be killing uh, some really uh, important infantry. Well, I mean, they're probably just killing the uh, the vet. Uh, that was the vet three squad that got hit. So yeah, killing yeah, that's killing the full happened. squad, I guess. It only it brought him down to one man, actually. Actually, that was a vet two squad somehow. Anyway, but I think I'm pretty sure American units can gain veterancy faster if they kill veteran German units, can't they? Uh, not that I'm I'm not not that I'm aware of. I don't think that's the case, but it might be. Because I didn't read it at coh-stats.com. So that means it must not be true, and I'm just crazy. Oh, another verbal vind. Oh no, that's just a repaired one from before. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's that's not. Actually, it, that's that's a fairly new one because the the corpse of the other one sitting by the north. Oh yeah, that's APC right. It. it is a new one. What is this? The and fifth one. It's about one? to die. Sixth <laughs> one. This is about the fourth one, I think. Yeah, fourth one. Well, the first one had three lives. Then there's that one. Now the there's this one. Second one had one life. Yeah, it's okay. So this is I was the just fifth. counting in terms of just like in terms of like one life, you know, per instead of counting the three. And Whoa, two. crazy sound effects, dude. Oh man. You know, see, he's got the two half tracks on the right hand side, and then albeit that they wouldn't do too much good against Rangers, it would still be there as an incredible deterrent for him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Does he have up the whole? He doesn't have the Thompson upgrade on any of these Rangers, does he? No, oh, he doesn't need them because he has enough, I think. Well, he has uh, enough rangers he, now, yeah, but it still wouldn't hurt. How many munitions does he have? Uh, he has 55, because wow. he used that 105 earlier. You know, yeah, he's been using lots of shit. stickies, too. Yeah, that's true. And grenades as well. He's been doing a good job with grenades. So he's taken the victory point back. He's only got 100 tickets to drain. He can do this. This is close. We have a logistics company coming up. Yes, we do. So we'll probably upgrade squad sizes and building grenades, most likely. Or maybe we'll see Funk Wagon spam. Woo! Another rifle section form. Look at that. That's the third one. Third or fourth one. That's definitely paid for itself many yeah. times over. Oh. We have a little bit of fighting going on. Oh, man. Double FG42s versus Rangers. With no Thompsons, this could be very bad. Uh oh, that grenade! Oh, they hit they hit the retreat button. That's why I didn't do too much damage. When you hit the retreat button, they automatically get more defensive armor for a little bit. That's true. Oh, we go artillery. And those guys ran right through the valley of the shadow of death. I'll tell you that much. Oh, we don't we don't have the XPs anymore. That's why we can't see. I want that to be an option to keep the XPs on, make them green or something. What Ooh. the hell was that? I... That's um. Oh, which better butterfly? Okay, butterfly. Oh, yeah, there you go. Those are really going to be useful because he's just going to like dance right into them and it's going to constantly shift his units, make them yeah. vulnerable. That more be good. Too. Yeah, no kidding. Whoa! That bazooka just gives someone. This isn't Quake. Oh, what the hell? Gross. <laughs> That guy is no more. 
and the verbal vin just running over telephone poles, no regard for France. And Another says, verbal vin. He says, <laughs> "Wow, it's not working for you. Why do you keep bringing more on the field?" I mean, I guess he's floating. Is he floating manpower, Adam? Is no, that he's what, got about 230 right now. I don't think he's floating it, but he's got a, the Rangers slowed. Oh, there you go. That's a. But he's got plenty of fuel. fuel. I don't know why he's not going for a Panzer IV. Yeah. Jeez, what did the trees ever do to you? Haven't you ever heard of Earth Day? Freaking <laughs> bazookas flying everywhere. Yeah, this this has been a devastating little area of France. Unfortunately, it will never be the same. That's interesting. Distance, you can hear a child crying. I'm pretty sure. The German got player's here. got almost 300 of all his resources. He's got plenty. He's hitting the pop cap soon, though. He's at five, uh, 59 of 69. Where's he dropping butterfly bombs? On the VP. Nice. Meanwhile, butterfly bomb got someone else earlier. Here. Yeah. Yeah, they tend to be invisible only if they're not spotted as they're dropping. What do we have yeah, over no. here? Howitzer shooting at the flak. Yeah, it's trying to kill the flak and the half track. Almost got a direct hit, but with two vents defensive vet. I guess that didn't help. It's only got wow, the the howitzer has been shooting how much more? It's only got eight kills. The flak has seven. <laughs> flak hasn't seen action in like fifteen minutes. We are losing a yeah, pretty door. much. Good place to butterfly bomb is a preemptive little, little mining. Uh, if you look on the left-hand side of the map, like oh. the middle crossroads, all the butterfly bombs there, that's excellent placement right there. If they try to go for that strat again to cut off the PE, they're going to run into some uh, unusual surprises. Yeah, they got a couple of them with butterfly bombs, forced them to be suppressed yep. over on the right-hand side near the VP. But, again, we're at 84 VPs for the Germans. They've got to push and take one soon. But we with... got uh, the great raid coming in on this uh, howitzer. Check out the American base. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Commando raid. Commando nice. raid. Fallschirmjäger raid. Listen, if we can't jump out of airplanes, we're going to jump out of half tracks. Killed it. <laughs> Unfortunately, he went right into suppression. And oh, he's no. Faust he double fausted the, the howie. He just didn't do enough. Throw a building grenade and run away. Oh, that's going to be nice. Good retreat right there. Yeah. Good retreat. Nice timing. Look at all that healing going on with the Americans. The yeah, mass heal. So, Support oh. command upgrade completed. Indeed. That means he could so be... He, he has, he has uh, Panzer IV as an option yet. Another um, tree just got crushed outside of the PE base, unfortunately. <sighs> so, no, respect for, no respect for virtual Mother Nature. No respect at all. Or virtual France, dude. Check out the map. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's just like life. I'm just kidding. Yeah, more right. explosions, right? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Big Look at this. Here. Super offensive vet. God, that's so much offensive vet. That's ridiculous. Good Listen flank here. Firing. He's got the, uh -oh. the rangers up to the north. Nice. Grenade got two of them. Good retreat, though. Yeah, Thank they God had to the retreat there. Don't have to slow oh, I think they got so. uh, Thompson's. Yep, Thompson upgrade. Yeah, That's they good. Did. He really needed that. That he did. And he hasn't manned the Howie again, which is surprising. Yeah, you'd think. I mean, what did it cost him? Like 70, maybe, 75, 80 manpower? Maybe he forgot about it. Maybe he did think it was destroyed, and he's just so focused on the battle right now, he doesn't have time to think about it. Maybe he's like, it only got eight kills this whole game. I don't give it, you know? <laughs> I don't need to take that pop cap up anymore, man. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's not adding to his pop cap. Maybe he can't. That's right. 63 of 67 pop cap right now. So he probably can't remand it. No, if he does, it'll just go over the limit, right? Well, uh, I have no idea. Or does it still count um, as also, pop cap? You're watching from the PE player, so yeah. he has 63. Oh, that's right. I'm right. I forgot I'm mine. Yeah. But I'm Another wondering, rifle section, though. if he's at full pop cap and he takes it over, then does that put him above pop cap? I think it does. I think it does. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. All right. With, you, you might not even be able to do it, but, with, you know. With 44 VPs, the German player's taking back the right-hand VP. He's pushing strong. Look at all that infantry there. Yeah. And he's got one of his infantry half-tracks over there, too, albeit mostly destroyed. Two of them, actually. See, this would have really helped the American player if he'd make use of the sandbags that the riflemen could build from the infantry section right now. 
I mean, just imagine if you do a, a general creep up on the right-hand side. He could really do some damage because there's no form of artillery for the Germans. No mortar half-track, no nothing. Yeah. So, if, they, if the Bars and Rangers had heavy cover, there could definitely be some trouble for the PE here. Yeah, I don't understand. He had control of this whole thing, and he brought all of his infantry back to get him healed, I guess. But he left nothing to defend it. That was like a walkover because it was like one squad or two squads defending, and then they met the entire German army. Look at the pretty butterfly. Oh my Daddy. god. Look at this mass of destruction. Yeah. Left hand side push. That's a lot of rangers. A lot Ooh. of fire up. Oh god. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and declare the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Look at those. Look at that blubber fly. Woohoo. I'm definitely gonna declare the left hand side loss for the P Panzer Elite right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that half track did not stand a chance. That was about what eight bazookas firing at the same target. Yeah, <laughs> six. Every anyway. single one hit it, and the driver just went did like five backflips. And and fear not, fear not, Panzer League player. The verbal wind is in response to four Ranger squads. Yeah, it's okay. The verbal wind will take care of it. Well, this one has ten kills. <laughs> uh oh, but FG 42s are gonna do a lot of damage. Uh oh. Retreat, retreat. Nice grenade. I can't believe it didn't kill anybody. Holy shit. Did he lose a squad? He did. Oh, he lost a ranger squad. That's bad what news. What are those rangers doing back there by the VP? They're just kind of standing there like, hey. We capped this point. Har, har, har. Trying to look cool oh, like man. the bombs. These grenades are not helping any. Another, a def uh, actually a vet squad Whoop. went down. A vet uh, ranger squad. Oh man, this one's gonna go down too. There it goes! He's only got two ranger squads left. Oh my god, this is terrible. Retreat, man! Oh, it's Custard's last stand! It really no. is! <laughs> one could go all the way! He's got his bazooka, he's taking off. Drop it, dude! Just drop it! You'll run faster! That one fall sure was like, you son of a oh. crap here! <laughs> oh no! They've been slowed. They've got double vet as they're slowed. Hit the retreat button there. already! Hit it! You'll get the defensive bonus! God. There's no way you win this. Just go. So he lost three ranger squads. Could be. Yeah, that yeah, one's dead. That's three. <laughs> Ouch. That's a lot of bazookas. <laughs> yeah, look at that. One, two, three, four, five bazookas. No, wait. Six bazookas. That was a terrible engagement for the American player there. That probably could have cost him the game right there. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would go so far to say that he had recapped uh, the point. All he had to do was get behind cover with all his squads, but it's like the entire German army he took on his squads one by one. He's checking out the right hand side with two men. He almost lost another squad. Now he's complaining about how the flashims are overpowered. The flashims, <laughs> dude. Yeah, he said flash how many of those guys were upgraded with Thompsons? One squad. Like, yeah, and Gee. they all had like no vet, and the falls were at what like level two or one vet. Yeah, they were. So, I mean, you know, the veterancy and the weapon, when when all those are combined, of course they're going to be really hard to deal with, especially yeah. when you're not playing. Holy shit, what was that? I just saw a chunk of a building fly into a house and then fly into the stratosphere. That <laughs> happens sometimes. Rather than range. I think BARs do need to do more damage to Panzer Elite Infantry. They don't seem adequate right now. Against Wehrmacht, it's balanced, but I think BARs need to be stronger against uh, Panzer Elite Infantry. Yeah, it might be. He's got this is like his his last possible way, but look at this. These oh my god, the rifle squads are just dropping like flies. Oh no, right hand side. Holy shit! We had an entire false. Uh, what was that? That was a Luftwaffe ground team obliterated in one shell. That was nuts. Wow. By the middle VP. You see all the body chunks? Yeah, and I see. I see all the bodies. Yeah, they but that were all was good. Each other. Yeah. You could grab the point now. Yep. Which he needs to do because he's he's the he's now running low on VPs. Yep. Uh oh, sneaky sneaky. Nice. Pushing some squads around to uh, counter it, right by the base. Oh, the triple vet uh, offensive loop off squad. That's devastating. Get him in that building. <laughs> the Foster Maker squad? For everything there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they will do so much damage. Remember when uh, Vittensby put those oh! walls in that building? Yeah. In the beta they when they were even more everything. powerful. I remember that. Yeah. That's so funny. 
It was like one squad with FG42s took on at least five infantry squads and just Killed wiped them all. them all out. It was ridiculous. That was so funny. I gotta watch that game again. That was one the of my infamous, The infamous laugh. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life, too. Oh, man. I think Nubex is a little frustrated right now because he did what lose. What does he expect when you send one squad, two squads against, like, triple f offensive vet guys <laughs> with all kinds of upgrades, and you don't have any upgrades on your squads? At least he didn't on the Rangers. And they're all not one. vet. Yeah, they're all not vet. So, I mean, what do you expect? Triple vet versus no vet? I'd expect them to die instantly. Oh, no. The howitzer did get remanned, and that's what killed it before, but it got... Killed in the middle of a shot. Yeah, the falls just lined up like a firing squad and finished them off. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like it's probably gonna be uh, probably over here. Yeah. Why did he just he just <laughs> Panzer Fausted the WSC? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's stylish. He's trying to shoot it. The flag railing. He needs to have a Ranger squad with five bazookas. That might do some damage. Get the bazookas! Don't let the Luftwaffe get the bazookas! Oh no! It's, it's another Verbalvin! The Luftwaffe shot uh, the Verbalvin in the back trench. <laughs> <laughs> it did damage to it. Which Very one killing. is this? Is this the seventh Verbalvin? This must be, yeah. Holy crap. We've lost a Panzer, you don't think so, hey Hans? Holy crap, check out the bum rush in the base, look at that. Yeah, I was looking at that. But they have nothing to kill, they don't have Shrek, so it's like, well, he's killing a squad, but other than that, it's worthless. They're trying to command and conquer the building to death. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. If we have enough guys shooting at a building, it should burn down, right guys? Bullets own steel, right? Well, the thing is made mostly out of sandbags, so it's going to take a while to blow up. With there bullets. Go. Oh, he's got the howitzer, man. Oh, but he's being shot at by the machine gun. Oh, no. That's a good point of point. If you ever make a howitzer, put it in range of your own machine gun so that they can't yeah. take it over. That's sneaky. Look at all that vet for the Germans. Wow. That's really what's been winning them this game. And I think the American player probably failed miserably because he at any point could have pulled out a Sherman. And yeah. that would have been completely shock and awe. The Germans never had any Shreks. They never had the building to produce Shreks. Oh, no, they did have the building. They had the comp group, but they never had any Shreks. Yep. They had a light ATHT, and they also had a. Yeah, but uh, a light ATHT is going to lose against a Sherman, or even two. If you pull out a Sherman and an and a M10, it's easy, gone. Yeah. Maybe it's going to get one of them, but the other one is going to chase it down. That is true. And we have a PE squad with 33 kills, I believe. Wow, really? You do. Where is he? I yeah, see that one. 30 three, kills, 19 kills. 30. Holy shit. 30 and 2. Yep, 33 kills. 20 on the infantry half track. We have another Ketten up. Woo! Yay, Ketten. Ketten's got 3 kills. No, just kidding. Oh, 50 kills on this. Wow, next to the VP on the left. 50 kills on this Panzer Grenadier squad. Oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Yeah. Now he's remanded again. What? Oh, he's he's shooting the the off map in case any rangers show up. <laughs> well, let's hope rangers are called in right now. That would be awesome. He's saving. Let's up hit for the field, rangers! Off Boom! Boom! They're gone. He's saving up for uh, off map right now. He's probably hoping to get like a lot of rangers or something. But I'm guessing he's only going to get like a few mortars and, uh, and an M10. <laughs> yeah. Or just like three AT guns. That would be awesome. Three M8s. <laughs> <laughs> that would be helpful. If he was armor company, yeah. That's about it. Those Fallsherm commandos are just driving around like madmen. Like, hey, let's go to the Barhans. <laughs> we blew it up this them. morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's just go raid the they captain's beer then. There's the off-map combat group. What do we got? We got an M8. Oh, and an M8. AT gun. Whee. What are they going to do? That's the question. Send one Ooh, to every you... VP. Go. <laughs> Mobilize. See, that M8 has no counter right now. That's what's so yeah. funny. 
I mean, other than the Panzerfaust from the from the falls, that's it. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, he doesn't have any Panzer Grenadiers that he can upgrade either. That's the thing. Yeah. Everything had Gewehrs already, so he couldn't upgrade anything else. No, that's not he did true. Have stuff off with bazookas, bazookas but... yeah. He's got enough bazookas to take on the entire American army now. They're all sitting over here. He, he just could have equipped calling. all those, uh, the Luftwaffe, every single man with a bazooka. That would have been amazing. Yeah. That would have been amazing. All right, well, definitely amazing game by Bent Guru, keeping his units alive and uh, getting them down to 41 kills and never building a single M8 until the very end. <laughs> that's pretty impressive, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good game. Glad we can finally get this out to you guys. Yeah, so. this one this one took a little while. So hopefully we'll get another great match next week. I want to see uh, Wehrmacht uh, and and something next week. I'm missing my Wehrmacht. Wehrmacht in British. <laughs> no. <laughs> and with that, thanks everybody for tuning in to Tales of Heroes, your weekly Company of Heroes community podcast. And uh, we're going to try and keep getting these out to you as fast as we can. But don't forget, we take donations at the website, tales.gamefire.com. If you want to help us out, give us a little encouragement to uh, keep on keeping on. That's where you can find us. And if you have any feedback, we welcome that as well to tales of at gamefire.com. T-A-L-E-S-O-F at gamefire.com. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Have a great